One of the best offenses in the game right now comes to us out of the Eagles playbook, and it's because it has this normal wild close formation. It also has some other really cool formations, such as Bunch X Nasty, uh, with a couple of really unique plays in these motion plays, motion China cross, double out, smash return, motion speed dig under. These are all really, really good plays. Uh, to have in your arsenal. It has bunch open tight end, which is kind of similar to bunch flex uh, in the fact that you can kind of get some, some things accomplished. This is a four strong look, so they're not going to be able to play match against you. This is kind of a, one of those formations where situationally you certainly can audible uh, over to something like this. It also has, though, and I think this is one of the main reasons why this is super powerful, is it has uh, trips tight end flex. And it has a couple of auto motion plays that you don't see in every playbook. It has this motion hitch and go that has a nice running back Texas route, motion wide post, which we could say is probably the best or at least a top five play in this game. Motion fork choice with a little motion over uh, post and then a backside little stick and go route. Uh, and then it also has an RPO out of this as well. So it's kind of a little bit more of a complete trips. And you also have in this formation uh, some other kind of like mix in formations like doubles off close week with RPO read bubble. You have um, this under center stuff that's pretty decent as well. You have ace double wing. Not a lot of books have that. So in general, this is one of the best playbooks in Madden 25. And I'm going to be breaking down some plays for you. So the audibles that I like to have out of normal Y off close is typically in this playbook. I'm going to be coming out in this cheap flat X post. So we'll have the RPO bubble, the Y sale, PA snag. And then from there, you can really put whatever you want in here. I like this cheat slot fade. You could also use any of these cheat motions. Cheat tight end angle is good. Cheat tight end screen is good. Motion angle wheel is good. Motion angle. All these are good options. Motion halfback swings are underrated situational play call. Um, so literally anything that you want in uh, this playbook, you can put in here. Uh, for me, I'm going to probably put the cheat slot fade in, and we're going to come out and cheat flat X post. So you see here what makes this offense unique is the short post route. The short post route, this is the best offensive playbook that I've seen so far for having the short post routes. These short post routes beat man, they beat zone, they're hard to switch stick, they're hard to user because they cut sharply and they're gonna run really, really quickly the route. Now the reason that this is better than like a standard post route, if you look to this left hand side, I'm gonna put this tight end or uh, the slot receiver on a hot routed post. As you see, they are very similar to the one that the X or the square receiver is already on. Now, I'm just going to put these guys on flats and just basically get them out of the way. And I want you to look at this route on the right. You're going to see that this is what is known as a sharp cutting post. And it's going to run a little flatter and it just gets across the field very, very well. Now, it doesn't just have that post route on that side of the field. But if you audible to PA snag, you're going to see here that we have the same post route on the left side of the field. As you see, this is a sharp cutting post it's going to run very, very well. So this is automatically one of the most powerful formations in the game because you have that short post on the left and that short post on the right, which I don't know that any formation in this game has a short post on both sides of the formation. Also, if you run this with your tight end uh, to the short side of the field, when you audible over to trips tight end flex, Take a look at this. Now our tight end is on that short, sharp cutting post and our trips is to the wide side of the field, which maximizes the spacing element of the offense. So these are some super, super important things uh, just in terms of understanding how this offense is going to work. Another thing that you have here is if you audible over one to this RPO read bubble, this is a very, very good RPO. What makes this a good RPO is the fact that the bubble and the running back is on the same side of the field, and we're going to put this corner in conflict. And a lot of times, we can just throw this RPO consistently and take advantage of the defense in that way. Another thing that we get with this RPO is it's a triple threat type of RPO in which we are reading this defensive end. If, we, if he crashes down, we can hit X uh, or A and hold the 
hold that and get him uh, get the ball to the quarterback. If we want to just say, okay, well, you know, play is not looking great for me. You know, they're just able to handle it. We can just hand the ball off to the running back. But obviously we are reading that defender. In that case, he crashed down, so we probably should have kept it. But you have this RPO read bubble in your arsenal, which is worth at least taking a look at because a lot of times this, this uh, bubble screen is going to be there for you. You always want to look out there. If it's not there, then obviously you just progress to the next read. That being said, you also have some other kind of like underrated plays in this playbook, one of which is this play double post. So this play double post has a crosser to the tight end, a backside dig as well. You're going to see here that if I wanted to, I could take my outside player. I'd probably put this guy on a curl, and then we would basically run the play kind of like this to a degree. And what you would see with this play is against cover three, cover four, this tight end crosser is going to kind of get across the field into a nice area of the field, and you're going to be able to attack cover four drop, cover three uh, pretty easily with this. Another play that is really good out of this is this cheat slot fade. This cheat slot fade is really good against cover two specifically, and basically you're just going to stem the tight end all the way up. I like to smoke screen this outside guy. You could put this guy on the right on really whatever you want, but basically what we're looking for is against cover two. This kind of slot fade is a really good route to be able to get over the top of a cover two coverage. And then another thing that this does is if they're putting curl flats on their zone over there on that left side, the beauty of this of this um, cheat slot fade play is that this smoke screen is going to be a good option for you. So you'll see here off of the auto motion, you'll see that this uh, cheat slot fade, you can just check it down to the smoke screen if they're playing, you know, kind of that, that, um, that umbrella type coverage. Another thing that you have in here, though, and is this is this play right here, this RPO or not RPO, um, this cheat X flat. So what this play does really, really well is it just attacks the entire field. One of my favorite setups out of this play, because we have this trips to the wide side, is to streak the slot receiver, and then we're going to stem up a speed out one tick like this. Uh, with this running back, you can put him on a flat route. If you're worried about pass pro, you can put him on a block. But uh, basically what you're going to do here is you're just going to read this flat. If they don't hard flat, this tight end is going to be wide open. And it's literally like the most freest 10 yards you'll ever, ever get. So you basically force them to have to hard flat. And then when they do hard flat, that's when the speed out is going to become a threat. So you see, oh, he hard flats. And that you see, I can just throw that quick. This happens so quick in the play that it is relatively difficult to switch stick. You can put this, um, put this out route up to about 15 yards. And you're going to get basically the same uh, type thing. It's just he's going to get a little bit, take a little longer to run his route. Another thing that you can get with this route combination is if they are in a cover three hard flat, then we're going to be able to attack the defense in the seam area of the field. So if you watch this streak, you're going to see here that I can kind of just throw this possession, catch it against coverage. If you're DK, you just break tackles and you just score touchdowns. But you see how we're able to really kind of threaten that whole left side of the field really, really well from a formation that honestly doesn't have a lot of great stuff to threaten that wide side. And then what this does uh, in terms of how they're going to have to use it and how they're going to have to play it is now they're going to have to put a lot of energy to the left side of the field, which then is going to leave this short post, which is really the best route on the play, uh, open here to the right side. Now, that yellow played... 30 yards down the field. Most people put their yellows on five. Um, if they're not putting their yellows on five, another thing you can kind of do here is just you can either leave the running back on the route that he's on um, or, you know, you can just put him on like a streak or something. Normally, this is going to get this open. We'll see if it does here. See how that yellow gets stays down a little bit more. We can also always just wait on this play and get this over here. But another combo uh, that I like is to streak this outside player and then have this little underneath drag right here uh, like this. I think this is an underrated setup as well. And this will help kind of pull that yellow zone down a little bit more, put him in a little bit more conflict. So you see he puts him in more conflict. Then you can throw this in behind it if they're if they're playing like that. 
out of the play PA snag, um, another thing, another combo that I like to run here kind of just depends on how they're playing, but the way most people play, uh, this is pretty much the setup that I'm going to run. It's going to look something like this and you can, you can motion the running back out into the route as well. If you want to go five wide, you could do something like this, but basically the idea here is we want to hit this short post right there. That's the route you want to hit. And that's the route that, in my opinion, you really want to prioritize getting open. You could also run the setup kind of like this. And the reason this is good is just because that tight end will clear those quarters out a little bit better. The one issue with it is, as you saw, it pulls the yellow zones back there. So that's kind of, um, you know, situationally something that you're going to have to you know, make a judgment call of which version do you want to run. But normally this short post just, cr I mean, just gets in a really really tough spot uh, for them to defend, which is why these short posts are so valuable. Another thing you have is this play Y sale. And one of the best ways to set this up is against cover two. Basically run the play like this. So you have the seam streak to the tight end that you can throw. Uh, if they're not using that right side, you have that seam streak, uh, which is a super big uh, threat uh, to the defense. And then also against cover two, you have this kind of unique fade route to the right side. So you see when that deep half turns inside, uh, normally this fade is going to get open right there. Uh, who was that? 37. He played that really well. Let's see if we can hit this for you. Normally when they, um, normally when the safety turns his hips to the middle of the field, you're just going to free form all the way to the right. And you see that you can get this over the top of a cover two coverage. You're going to need to kind of practice that throw a little bit, but that is a good throw for breaking down that cover two. And then one of the best, I think, uh, quick hike plays is Y sale. All you're going to do is drag this guy. If you want to stem the tight end corner down, be my guess too. But what you're going to get here uh, consistently is this tight end corner just breaks down coverage well. It gets over the cover two, um, which you could have also just hit the flat. But then it also, like let's say if it's like cover four or cover three, then you're going to see here that this corner just pass lead that down into the right side. It's very difficult to switch stick that because if they do try to switch stick that, they're going to give up the uh, the backside for basically a touchdown. Another variation of this would be to, to use the tight end short corner. This is really more situational to like if you know they're playing a lot of hard flat coverage the reason i like this version is just because the corner gets out there really quickly and it's able to just break down the coverage well if you're getting a lot of cover two another thing that you can do out of this cheap flat post is something very uh simple and that is just corner the solo receiver we're going to take the running back put him on a table route drag this outside guy so it looks kind of like this uh, but essentially what you're going to look for is you're going to stem this post up one tick and this is going to be trying to split a cover two seam. So you'll see here, uh, if they are running cover two, when this post cuts to the middle of the field, this is going to be a way to just kind of attack that coverage. Another thing hopefully you noticed on this play uh, is the idea here that uh, basically if they're cloud flatting, they're going to press this, this guy. And so you see that press, you can throw this out here. And now this is a free 15, 20 yards. What a lot of people do in this game, uh, if they're going to run cover two, is they play cover two sink. A lot of people, if they want to play cover two on you, they're going to play like cover two sink, if you will. And so if they do that, you're not going to get a reroute. He's just going to basically go down to that post. This gets a free release now. And that can hit over the top. I will say the mid read played out. I think I forgot to stem it up. That's probably why that happened. You have to stem this up one time. Uh, otherwise, he'll run too shallow. So stem him up. And now you'll see. Oh, it should work better this time. And you see here. And you see how you can kind of throw this in this little area. The deep half actually played out of his mind. We'll show it one more time. Soft squats um, do trigger a match concept. I will say that too. So that's something else. Right, let's see if we can break it break it down here but about 15 yards it's typically deep enough and, and it's it's kind of tight against uh against the south squad honestly surprisingly i'm pretty sure that works in, in game most of the time for me when i run this offense but anywho, anywho try one more time if it doesn't work we'll just call it 
But normally, if you stem this post up, that is what you normally get, where he kind of splits the cover to. So anyway, just something that you have access to here. Um, another thing that you have access to within this offense uh, is just very simple, uh, you know, double drags with a streak is, is like a very simple play. But this is a very good play in this game. And the reason why is because the yellows drop back so far. And these um, these little underneath drags are really, really, really good. So always have something like that in your arsenal. Another thing that you can do here uh, that I think is actually really effective is the old old school like slant post. You can stem up this sharp post one tick. That's going to space out really well. And then now you're going to see how this kind of plays. But notice these inside quarters, they just, they're never going to play a short post, which is what makes short posts, I think, so effective. Now, those are kind of the main things. Uh, one thing with the PA snag setup, I like this play too. Uh, I think this is very good because if they are hard flatting out of like a cover four, watch what the flat does. It'll hold that flat defender, and you can basically throw this tight end slant um, above the flat defender. The same thing is true here to the right side. So if I wanted to out of um out of this play i could slant flat you know this play over here to the right side and then you know basically have a clear out and the reason this is good is just because it'll break down this right side and it's hard for the defense to be able to defend that the same thing is basically true out of motion post so if you go over here to trips tight and flex motion post just slant the tight end is really all you need to do. This is widely considered to be one of the best plays in the game because this slant flat combo gets open really nicely against this coverage. And then also the other thing that you get access to against this coverage is, you know, this high low read here to the middle and to the backside of the formation. And you're going to see that this tight end post just runs so clean and crisp. And it's just, it's just a really, really difficult route for them uh, to ultimately defend. And then you also, in this playbook, have the ability to audible uh, to Bunch Nasty. Now, if you know that you could, you could base out of Bunch Nasty as well. So if you wanted to, you could come out in Bunch Nasty short side and then either flip into Bunch Nasty or audible to trips or this normal wild close. The main thing I wanted to show you, and I'm going to move the ball so we get a better alignment here for our bunch, but this bunch nasty, one of the play, a couple plays that I do think is worth mentioning. Um, the first one is this double outs play. You have this whip route uh, to the tight end. What I like to do is just literally like a super horizontal combo, but I think something like this is really good in this game because it's so hard to, to fit. The slant flat combo is so underrated, and then this whip route, uh, just gets into a really, really, really nice area that feels very difficult for them uh, to be able to defend that. Another thing we didn't quite touch on that I did want to just briefly mention is the uh, the short post beat man coverage really, really well. Of course, I'm going to say that, and Randy Moss is going to get bagged by, is that Revis? I don't know who that is out there. Or no, Ty Law. Um, the short posts work really, really well against man coverage, and... The uh, practice mode might be a little buggy here. We'll see if we can actually get this. But even if like they get quasi bagged, you're gonna be able to. You can just you can just basically aggressive catch the route as well. And then the same thing is true here on the right sides. So we'll see if uh, this guy can win. Uh, he gets super pressed, but even that he gets that separation, and you're able to beat man. So those short post routes are really good for. Uh, breaking down man coverage. Another combo that you can have that I think is really good as well uh, is just the idea that, you know, using this return route. So this is going to space out really, really well. And what you're going to see is this return route will kind of hold those yellows still. And then you have this post over the top. Now, if we take a look a little bit more at Bunch Nasty, what's cool about this Bunch Nasty is it has some plays that you might have never seen. For example, you have Motion China Cross, which this post route is slightly different than the standard post route. You also have a short crosser. So what this does is it's going to be a good read for you. Let's say you wanted to beat, um, you know, let's say you wanted to beat like cover uh, four, this which, again, the main coverage in this game is cover four. 
uh, in my opinion, cover four, cover three with the switch sticking, these it's a short crosser that gets into a nice area of the field against cover four. And then also the other thing about this play is let's go to this play motion speed dig under. Now you see we have a couple things, uh, but we have this deep crosser and then we streak this player right here. And then literally all you have to do is just drag the tight end. You can do whatever you want with the running back. But basically this is a really clean uh, combo and it just spaces out very well. It's very similar to Dagger uh, out of Bunch Strong Nasty. So this just has some plays in it that I think are uh, kind of important uh, to be able to have, uh, to be able to break down coverage well. Another thing is, let's say you're getting a lot of cover three. This is one of the easiest cover three beaters in the game. Just streak the slot receiver, drag the tight end, corner out the solo, block the running back. This has been one of the best cover three beaters in the game for years. You can th you can just throw this corner out against cover three, which is really effective and a great way to be able to beat cover three uh, consistently. Oftentimes, that's going to cause a cloud flat on that side, which is then going to uh, which is then going to allow you to throw your tight end but the main thing and the main reason why you run this play is for this outside or this uh, post so what you'll see is this post is going to go sharp and it just kind of gets into this really soft spot of the field that allows you to be able to break down any kind of cover three or cover four coverage forcing them that when you go to bunch they're going to go to cover two uh, because you broke down the other coverages that they have which is then why, and you could do this out of regular bunch as well. I like to do this out of a play, um, kind of like uh, flood out of bunch open tight end. And basically they go to cover two now. And all you're going to do is you're going to streak the slot, out route the outside receiver. And it looks like this. And you're really just looking for this deep corner route off of uh, flood. I don't know why he ran that route like that. That was super weird. Let me try that again. And if that happens, you can always um, you can always just run Z spot as well, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, trail. Let's just double check and make sure this corner route is is what we want. You can always just hot route into it too. Let's see if we go to flood. Is that a short corner? I don't know what that is. Um, okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll just cor read corner route him to make this a little bit better. But basically, you see here, this is what it looks like. Um, and then you can throw the speed out if you want to throw the speed out. But normally, this corner is just going to take the top off the defense against cover two. And you can do this out of bunch nasty, too. You don't have to do it out of, um, you know, out of bunch flex. This is, like, universal to any bunch of the game. Uh, but, like, something like this, right? And essentially, you have your read on the out route. The tight end clears up the half. And then this gets open over the top of a cover two coverage. The other thing that you can do to kind of manipulate a cover two uh, that I think is worth at least just briefly covering is if they're running cover two on this left side. That's where this deep cross is very, very helpful because it's a deep enough crosser that it's going to clear a cloud. And then if they try to switch stick with the half, you have a touchdown to the streak. So this is just um, a very, very, very good offense. It has a lot of things that it can do uh, very, very well. Uh, they're also have they also have in this formation uh, some kind of great gimmick plays. Uh, just something I mean, like the RPO read out of spread flex. This is a really, really good play because again, you're putting defenders in conflict, and you know if they crash down, you can just keep it with the quarterback, or you could you know try to throw your RPO. I really like. Um, this offense in general and there's just a lot of ways for this offense to be successful so that is the Eagles playbook and kind of how I would be running it if you guys want to learn more about this I am going to be having a full e Eagles offensive ebook in our school community and if you're not a member of the school community yet you can join at the link in the description down below